All right, so what's going on, guys? It's Raven. Today, bringing you guys another You Say I Play episode. This is episode number two. This was actually a class setup recommended by Julian Gote. Um, so what it reads is we have the ASM one with hybrid sight, rapid fire, and extended bags. And he didn't give me like any variants or anything like that. The only perk that he gave me was scavenger. And for my score streaks, he only gave me the UAV with extended time on it. So yeah, that's what we got to work with. It was a pretty empty class setup. However, I think this was meant to be a little bit more of a challenge. And you guys could make them challenging. You can make them easy. You know, whatever. I don't mind. But anyways, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hop into this gameplay, and I don't know what I really want to talk about today, as you guys watch that in the background. Well, anyways, I did actually cut the clip a little bit, that way you guys don't get to see me getting noob tubed a lot, even though I think that you get to see me noob tubed here soon, and uh, as you can see, I don't do as good as I usually do, but... I don't know why, I just have some sort of instinct in me, or whatever, to get the win, no matter what. And my win-loss ratio on this account is actually close to a 3, believe it or not. So you guys may see, like, me being a kill horn and stuff like that, but I don't lose too often. So, we actually pull it back. So as you can see, we're actually on one last flag. So I had to go kill horror a little bit in here and it actually worked out good for us also i'm not sure why but it seems like like if you put a sight on a weapon i don't know if it adds recoil if you notice the recoil or if it's a different recoil pattern however i could use the as1 strider which has minus three accuracy and i can still control it pretty well with rapid fire even as long as i have the iron sights now, this only has rapid fire on it, so it's like a, it's equivalent to about an AS1 Strider with a foregrip. Now, it's supposed to be like that, but for some reason it just has like some sort of weird recoil feel, and I, I just didn't like it to be honest. And it's the same thing with the HBR 3 like, if I just use the iron sights, I think, like I can't even feel the recoil. But if I put a red dot sight on it or any type of sight, that's when I start to notice the recoil and stuff like that. But yeah, let me know if you guys play Momentum any because I've had it a lot recently where basically just noob tubing, okay? Like, I didn't realize people still noob tubed in this game, you know? Like, I guess you could. There's danger close in the game. There's noob tubes that you can lock onto your weapon and stuff like that. But this was actually the first time I've came into a noob tubing lobby. So that was a bit annoying. My teammate was doing it. He had an MDL, I think, which is weird. I've never done that. But also, it was recommended to me uh, on my last video. Wait, no, two videos ago to do a DNA bomb with every weapon. Now, okay, it's at the time of the year where the current Call of Duty is getting old and you're just like bummed out on playing it and stuff like that. And I really don't feel like playing this game anymore, to be honest. Uh, Ghost, I'm not a big fan of it. Like, when it was in its prime, I somewhat liked it. It wasn't too bad of a game. You know, people, like when it was in its prime people moved around a lot more than it seems like now so I mean I guess I could do some series and stuff like that on ghost but if you guys have any like gameplays you guys want to send in to me I'll go ahead and link my Skype down in the description below and I could give you guys some shout outs and stuff like that preferably Black Ops 2 to I don't know like COD 4 to Black Ops 2. You know, I don't really want to see any Ghost or Advanced Warfare, even if that's what you got. You know, I'll take a look at it, see if it's an interesting gameplay. But if I do this series, I'll probably let people send in their submissions. It'll be like a teamwork thing because I really don't feel like playing Advanced Warfare and going for DNA bombs that much. Anyway, so we're wrapping up the video. Go ahead and leave a class setup for me to use in the next episode of You Say I Play. And if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to see future content. And have a good day.